StatCast powered by Google Cloud. Now Raphael Devis going to center field last time up in 449 feet. Major League average 400 feet. He beat that by a lot. 108 miles an hour to get out of the ballpark. Raphael into the cloud for his second home run of the season. Red Sox in a 3 3 ties. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning, trying to win it now with Devers, Martinez, Bogarts, and Moreland if needed against Toronto. Hatch will stay on to pitch his second inning. He struck out the side in the eighth. Looking for the first walk off piece of the season. Now you really find out if that blast got him out of that skid. And ready for the last of the ninth. This kid out there throws 95, a little slider and a changeup. That good stuff. Red Sox have not been forced to extra innings yet. They don't want to start here today. Foul back, going two. The other note, it really takes you back a little bit, but dating back to 2019, the Red Sox have lost each of their last seven series at Fenway. It's, not, it's hard to believe. Six and 16 at Fenway Park over that time. And a ground ball. Nice play there by Guerrero. The flip on to the pitcher for the out. On contact, I thought that was going to be a base hit. I didn't expect Guerrero to get to that ball, but he did. He almost, the dive. he almost didn't get back up. Yeah, he was he was, he was hugging the line for trying to prevent the double. Had to cover some ground going to his right. And there's the dive. Scrambling. And then plenty of time to get Devers at first base. He's got the old style flip glasses on. Might be a gift from his dad. Yeah, those are <laughs> those, those ancient. J.D. Martinez is 0 for 3. He has fly to right, hit into a double play, and lined hard to Shaw at third base last time. Off. I used to think those flip downs were so cool, man. Oh, yeah. I always want to wear them. When I was a kid. Dave, Dave game put those on. Yeah. The little eye block. The eye block, yes. Another Red Sox hitter in a deep slump. You see J.D. Martinez hitting 200. At any point in the season. What a time to go bridge here. The Toronto Blue Jays have been working him in around the hands relentlessly. Yeah, all day long. He stung a ball last time up though. Hung a breaking ball, ripped it to the third baseman, Shaw. Workman getting ready. Here's the 2 1. That's a swing and a miss. Kid's got a good changeup. He really does. And 95 on his gas. Yeah, he's got good stuff. Good fastball, good breaking ball, good changeup. He's a rookie out there. I half a swing by JD. Bounding ball to third on the line. Fair. Shaw. High throw, and he came down on the bag. Two down. Well, Shaw wound up right there, almost launched it, did launch it, but Guerrero, a tall first baseman, gets up and just comes back and touches the bag. But this chopper has got all day to throw it all the way across the diamond high. He comes down just enough. Hurry up to get back to that bag just in time to get JD. So it falls to Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 3. A ground out of fly out of strikeout. Xander came in his previous nine games hitting 462 with three home runs.
couple of years ago Xander had one of the great moments in a season of great moments against the Toronto Blue Jays. Remember this in 2018. Yeah, this is the ultimate walk off slamage. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody knew it. Look at the crowd. That's what I miss. Yes. The high strength steel play brought to you by New England Chevy dealers. Takes that one down low three and one. And there were a few moments that season. Just, just a, a couple. Just a few. A lot of partying that season. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was time to. <laughs> Always. Tough pitch. Three oh, and two. Perfect pitch. Doesn't get any better than this. Four seam comes back just a hair. Swings through it. Toronto trying to force this one to extras. And it's ball four. And that's the first man they have walked today with two down in the ninth inning. Bogey's been getting frisky lately. He stole two bags. See if he takes a shot at running here. Yeah, let's we'll see what kind of move he's got to first base, uh, what kind of move he's got to the plate. I'm sure the Red Sox know that already through their pregame work. Mitch Moreland with a home run in the second inning, one for three today. It was his fifth home run of the year. To dead center. Red Sox have the winning run on in the ninth inning. Two down. That's what they have in mind, too. Bogarts were to steal a base, they would probably walk ball in and take their chances with Vasquez. See if that ball four was a big mistake for Hatch. High fly ball. That one's back there, back there, way, Get way back. Here. He did it. Mitch Moreland with a walk-off home run into the monster seats. With two down in the bottom of the ninth inning, and the Red Sox win it five to three. His second home run of the day. He did it. He did it. Got a slider. Mitch Marlin wins the ball game and the Red Sox win the series. And everybody goes crazy at Fenway Park. <laughs> Is that breaking Johnson. ball right over the middle and he goes inside out up into the monster seats for the two out two run home run to win a game for the Red Sox. Well, the big thing there was to walk the Bogots and get ball into the plate. Yep, two home runs today give him six. Ooh. He is off to a hot start. And Mitch Moreland certainly the star of the day as the Red Sox beat Toronto and take the series two games to one. Now we're going to ask for Mitch to put on a headset chat to him here in just a moment but that's got to be the best feeling on a Sunday afternoon at Fenway Park minus the fans of course and the Red Sox get a chance to celebrate at home plate the team that has really been struggling for offense surprisingly but today the Sox hit three home runs. Well that's that's the way you do it man you leave the ballpark you don't need a bunch of hits. 